Hey everyone, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris and I'm a Senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Today is all about AI images. I will navigate you through the current image creation experiences that we provide inside of Copilot, available for both licensed Copilot users as well as enterprise users leveraging the free enterprise grade option called Copilot Chat. In this particular video, we'll take you through how to create images in Copilot, all the various feature improvements that we are directly making, the ability to structure and craft your overall prompts, and leverage those resources in order to generate high quality, creative, and professional images to impact you and your work. So starting off, let's talk about the new improvements that we're making for image generation. Microsoft is actively rolling out new user interface elements, as you see on my screen, as well as improvements to the underlying large language models that we leverage for image generation. For the last year and a half since Copilot went generally available, we've been leveraging the DALL-E 3 model for image generation. And now, as of today, we leverage GPT-40 providing a more realistic image generation experience, which also does very well with text for anyone who may have had issues with text before. So this is a huge improvement for all of you, allowing you to create better, well-defined images based on the type of brand asset that you require. So let's talk about the current creation experiences available. For unlicensed users, you must use the current web chat based experience. And within this experience, you need to indicate to Copilot to create an image. In this case, let's imagine we're creating a presentation about data centers, and we want to include an AI image to help brand our presentation. Our prompt will be, create a professional image of a data center technician working on a server rack. Make the image photo realistic. And there you go. Now you see we have an initial image created. General note as an update, it used to create four images for you, and now with the upgrade to GPT-40, we generate one image per prompt. Now I can keep prompting, maybe there's something I don't like about this image. Maybe I don't want the technician to be working on a laptop, maybe instead I want them to be working on a tablet. Replace the laptop with a tablet. And there we go, now we have an updated image. Now, general note of course, you see a lot has changed within this image. It's a different person, they're facing a different way, but I didn't really tell Copilot specifically what I required, I just wanted the laptop to be replaced with the tablet. So it's made some updates and modifications, and in this case, this image would work well for what I want. So I highly recommend for all of you without a license, please leverage the image generation capabilities. They are much improved, and they will do well for you to help brand any assets and materials that you require. Now, for those of you that have a license, there's some great improvements that are available as well. Let's navigate into the Create module. Now the new create module has been greatly improved. As you see, I'm in the section to create an image, and I have many examples and additional options available to me to assist with image generation. I can hover over the particular examples that are provided. I can see the prompt. I could click inside of these examples, and I could fill out the particular fields to modify the image to my requirements. This may also include image attachments. You can attach your own images to use as a reference to create new images. And this is fantastic in case you're doing things like product design or brand layouts and you want to leverage particular text or brand or physical imagery to be modified with AI. What's also amazing is the ability to change the style. We have tons of built-in styles, and this is where I received a lot of value. I wasn't sure, as a not really creative person, what type of art styles there really were, and I'd have to do a lot of searching with Copilot to figure that out. And now within this new Create module, we have a ton of different art styles available to you that you can just pre-select and have already incorporated then within the image you're generating. For organization branding, of course, you can implement your own organization brand. You yourselves can create your own brand under the More dialog, or your organization can deploy out brand kits available to you to brand your imagery as well. And finally, one of the best improvements in my opinion is the ability to select a particular size. 
Prior to these updates, all AI images created with Copilot were square. You couldn't change the overall resolution of the image. And now we provide options for you. So that way you can select square, of course, but also a portrait or a wide angle image based on your requirements. So let's go ahead and create some images. Now, you may have noticed when I introduced myself as a part of this video, there's a little pop-up with my name and my title, and that was directly created with this new Create module. It does so much better with text. I have colleagues now that are leveraging that as inspiration and generating new imagery for their professional means, like email signatures. Now imagine you can have an email signature custom to you based on the design aspects that you require. Let's go ahead and create some. Now here's the prompt that I leveraged in order to create that introductory image. Keep in mind here the key aspects that I would ask myself when it comes to generating this form of imagery and adding detail into my prompt. What is the subject of the image? In this case, a lower third overlay for a video introduction. What's the style that I require? Well, it's a clean, modern style, semi-transparent background color scheme and that complements tech or corporate branding. What kind of detail do I want added? Well, I want placeholder text. I want my name. I want my title. And I want the overall design to be custom to the type of videos that I particularly create. Let's go ahead and create this image and see what we get. Now, here's the first run through of what I received. And I did have the flat design style selected as well. I could have possibly changed that if I required, but in this case, I just left it be. It looks like it added a little person symbol and included my name and my title. The text looks amazing. Let's just switch the style really quick to modify it. In this case, I've selected pixel art and let's regenerate. And there we go. Now we have our new image. It has a pixel art style design. Maybe I like this. Maybe I don't. I can continue to iterate, make modifications, select different styles, or start again from scratch if I so choose. Now, another awesome feature that you can leverage is the ability to upload imagery to use as reference. In this case, maybe I want to create a new profile picture or portrait of myself to invoke AI and modify my imagery and make me look slightly different. So I've uploaded an image of myself and I'm going to prompt. I want a self-portrait using grayscale and a rock album cover style with an overlaid film grain. I don't want any text, and I want this to be Ultra HD resolution. I also want to add a slight mist around the shoulders. And there we go, we have an awesome self-portrait image of myself. I will say, as a general limitation, I do notice on referenced images and self-portraits, things of that nature, it's almost like the essence of you is captured, but there's still something just slightly off or possibly needs to be changed just a bit, but the AI still gets it pretty spot on. I really think this is pretty cool. Now let's just make a very slight update to the image by re-prompting on the right. I want to add text to this image and I just want to include my name. And there we go, we now have the overlaid text. Let's go ahead and show a few additional examples. In this case, let's try a simple bar chart showing quarterly sales with labeled axes and values in the Microsoft corporate color scheme. We want clear text and a minimalist design on a white background. We've also selected the flat design style and the wide size. So let's see what happens. And there we go. Now we see we have a professional infographic with quarterly sales that we can include. I would also say a general note for any imagery like this, I normally wouldn't trust numeric values within the image generation capabilities. I would instead recommend you leverage code interpreter that's built into the business and the web chat based experience in order to generate Python code and have those visualizations provided back to you. Let's do one final professional image generation and we talked about email signatures so I could create a custom email signature. In this case, I want an email signature in a professional modern style with a text and then my name, my title, my email, and my phone number. I also have included watercolor style just to see what it does. Let's just experiment a little bit. Now we have this final image and I think this is really important to note around experimentation and detail within your prompts. This isn't really what I expected. I thought this would be some form of like bordered box. Uh, of information that included my name and such. 
and it wasn't. And of course, that's because it was me. It was my prompt. I wasn't detailed enough for the AI to know what I, I meant. So I could continue to reprompt and align it better to my expectations or start fresh from the initial create screen and create something new by including more detail. But this is so important. Experimentation allows you to learn how the AI works and functions as your partner. So continue to experiment, try new things, and if it doesn't quite get it right, don't give up on it. Keep prompting and tell it what's right, tell it what's not right, and move it along the way. So that covers all of the various aspects around image creation and various updates and prompting techniques that I have to go with all of you for today. If you found this video helpful in any way, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Like, subscribe, and share as always. And thank you all so much for your support. We'll see you in the next one, everyone. Have a good one.